A very warm welcome to this, the first film in our Building Bases series, in which we examine features of the various forms of building base. As already discussed in our Foundation series, the base of a building is the point at which the building shell rises out of the ground and becomes part of the facade. How this is achieved depends on the relationship between the building and the ground upon which it stands. The design of the base is thus determined by the way the building is set on the ground. There are three different types of base. A pit-type building is one in which the structure is set in the ground. This is done by excavating a hole or pit in the ground in which the building is then erected. Pit-type buildings are very common since the top layers of soil making up the ground often lack the necessary load-bearing capacity and so have to be removed. As a result, many buildings are built over a cellar or basement. On the left here, you can see an extreme example of a pit-type building. At Lechenfeld School in Freising, Germany, most of the sports hall is sunk into the ground. As far back as ancient Greece, temples were set on raised platforms or plinths to elevate them above the level of the surrounding land. This type of construction is known as a platform-type build. The building itself is seen as sitting on or above the ground, as in the case of our cloud laboratory at the Leipzig Institute for Troposphere Research, shown here. The third type is a pile-type building. It's raised above the level of the surrounding land by means of supports known as piles. This method of construction dates back many thousands of years. It provides a good way of protecting buildings from external influences. It found its way into modern architecture in the 1920s. Here on the left, you can see our school in Freising again. The part of the building containing the classrooms is raised above the flat section by means of columns. A characteristic feature of pit-type buildings is a facade that grows out of the ground. Because the building is set in a pit, it is the surface of the exterior wall rising up out of the ground that dominates with the surrounding land running up to the base of the building. In visual terms, the exterior wall takes priority over the ground around the building. In a platform-type building, the base appears to be separate from the ground. This can be achieved by means of a slab that seems to rest on the ground, as in this design for an office building in Karlovy Vary in the Czech Republic. This slab can be given greater importance and enlarged to form a load-bearing ground floor, which then appears as a strong design element connecting the ground and the structure that rises above it. You can see this type of construction on the left here in our extension building for the Rutli School in Berlin. The load on the base of a building depends on the specific features of the transition from ground to facade, that is to say from the part of the building shell that stands in the ground to the overground exterior walls. It may need to meet a number of different requirements. Summary. The way in which a building is set on the ground determines the design of its base. The base of a building is the point at which the building shell leaves the ground and becomes part of the facade. Buildings can be designed as pit, platform or pile-type structures. A characteristic feature of pit-type buildings is a facade that grows out of the ground. A platform-type building, on the other hand, appears to be separate from the ground, while pile-type buildings are elevated above ground level by means of supports called piles. Our Building Bases series continues with film number two. In it, we take a closer look at the key characteristics of building bases.